My name is uh, Epeli Sokuru and uh, I am working as a church minister in the Seventh-day Adventist Church here in Fiji. I would like to share my experience on uh, what I like about the fish, uh, kaukawa and donu. And also I will share uh, what I believe uh, the scripture says uh, in terms of uh, conserving and preserving uh, these two species, uh, kaukawa and donu. For me, my personal uh, experience, you know, as I move around in my pastoral work in various districts and uh, sometimes we're invited to go and attend meetings, run uh, seminars. When the food are prepared, you know, on the top table, we will always find uh, uh, this species of fish and that is kawakawa and uh, ndonu. And I believe uh, that it is, if not the most uh, delicious uh, fish out of all uh, the species that I have ever come across. You know, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> uh, for us, we believe, you know, as the scripture outlines in Genesis chapter 1 that you know, it was created by God and we believe in uh, the idea of stewardship that we are good stewards and so we are to look after um, all living organisms and so when we deal with the fish as we can see that it is decreasing in size I believe that this is where good management comes in uh, even though God can and he is the sustainer of everything, every living thing. But God also gives us something very special and that is to look after the environment, to look after the species. And so if we are consuming much of these things that God has given to us and then it is decreasing in size, then I also believe that we must uh, act on something uh, to preserve it. God wants us to enjoy what He has given to us. But when we look at it from another perspective, you know, because the fish is decre uh, decreasing in size, especially these two species, then I believe that we need to work together. I believe that I have a part to play in preserving the fish, not only preserving it, but conserving it as well. And so, for me and for my family, you know, and it is a challenge for me to also challenge the church members, because it has been proven in the research that the fish is decreasing in size, and so I have to challenge them. It's a big challenge for me. It is not easy for me, you know, to make this commitment and to make this pledge not to eat this fish from the month of June, July, August, and September. Not only for me, but for my family, and I will also work hard to help to educate my church members to also support the notion and the initiative because uh, after all we will all benefit from it again if we allow those period of time where they will breed and then you know give just just that four months give that ample time for us to um, you know allow them to to breed and so we can continue to enjoy them